Welcome to Let's Play F1 2000 Part 7. And it's now time for race 6 of our 2000 season. And it looks like it's going to be another wet one. I don't know what is with this game and wet races, but it sure likes its wet fucking races, so. Hooray! I'm going to do a three early stop strategy for this race, just to keep the uh, gravy train rolling. I'm going to opt for soft tires this time. And let's go race at the Nürburgring, guys, for the European Grand Prix. The European Grand Prix has been moved forward in the calendar to round six. Today, we're at the Nürburgring circuit. It was yet another race win for the magnificent Michael Schumacher in the last round. He'll be hoping for a repeat result today. So that was the previous round. Now we move on to round six. Double world champion Michael Schumacher's at the top again. He'll want another good drive today to open up a championship lead. As you can see, the drivers have already started the formation lap, so I'll recap on the qualifying order. On pole, Mika Hakkinen in the leading McLaren. An excellent second, Frenson. Third place, David Coulthard. Fourth place, Rubens Barrichello. Fifth place, Fissi Keller. Sixth, Ralph Schumacher. Seventh, Johnny Herbert. Eighth, Jarno Trulli. Ninth place, Irvine. Tenth, Wurz. Eleventh, Jacques Villeneuve. Twelfth place, Jos Verstappen. Thirteenth place, Ricardo Zonta in the second BAR. Fourteenth place, Alesi in the leading Prost. Fifteenth, Pedro Diniz. Sixteenth place, Marc Genet. Seventeenth, Salo, 18th place, De La Rosa in the second arrow. 19th place, Button. 20th, Mazakane. 21st, Nick Heidfeld. A poor 22nd, Michael Schumacher. So they're lining up in their grid positions. All that's left is the race start. All right, here we go. Our, uh fourth consecutive wet race fourth yeah fourth consecutive wet race and which stream or or the last day of my school work for the year and why you know YouTube I'm streaming on YouTube Templar what the fuck are you talking about Off we go for the Euro GP. Oh, what's happening? Oh, God. So, um, so much for Janae's really good qualifying because uh, he's back down on last now. Hooray. Also, I have to remember oh, God, I'm spinning the tires. rain at all the tracks pretty much but um I have to remember that uh, this was before that fucking really really fucking tight hairpin was added to the Nürburgring god damn it people stopping in the middle of the straightaway mm -hmm. okay we're good we're good everything's fine Okay, we are uh, up to 18th. Kind of went back and forth. Up and down the field so far. Okay, Sonic. Oh, jeez. So, uh, this is a big pile of cars that I really don't want to be a part of. Why is Barrichello back here? Rubens, what happened? Who diddled you? Have I ever done any LP for a rally game? Technically, yes, because I did GT Events 2. Oh, there goes Barrichello in uh, one of the Salvers. GG, Rubens. G fucking G. But yeah, I've done uh, GT Events 2, but I haven't done like a full 3D rally game, so I hope to change that soon-ish. 
because yeah. Also, this is going to be a 71 lap race. This is going to be a lengthy Grand Prix. Hooray. Hooray and stuff. Because, you know, Nürburgring isn't really uh, the shortest of tracks, but yeah. How far am I from the end of the game? I'm on race 6 out of like 17 or something like that. Hooray. This is the Nürburgring. Oh god, this is grass on the Nürburgring. Uh, excuse me. Holy shit, Paracello. Fucking <laughs> 21st, are you serious right now? Looks like I'm gonna be carrying the team again. Cause, uh... Chicane! Contact with Fisi Kella, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Giancarlo. I didn't mean to do it, I swear. Okay, getting flashbacks of this race in GT4? Not really. No, not really. Meanwhile, I'm in the top 10. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, and I'm still hitting people. Like a dunce. What happened in Spain? I won. I almost fucked myself. Because I got stuck against the wall and uh, apparently either I wasn't pressing the correct button out of all the buttons I pressed, but um... There's no reverse. When uh, you use semi-auto, also uh, rip truly. But, um, yeah, I got stuck against the wall, so I just kind of had to beat my way out of the wall, eventually, and I ended up losing a lap, but I had a lap and a half lead, so I ended up winning by 30 seconds still. So, yeah. And stuff. Hey, Cameron. When I got stuck, I fucking panicked when I got stuck in that wall. I'm not gonna lie. Just, uh. Oh, pff, it's a f I like paying attention to things, yes? Forcing everyone to stop. Like a jackass. Okay. Well, that was amazing. That was, that was just absolutely fucking amazing. I'd really like to have a dry race again. Especially at the next place, because the next place is gonna be awful if it's, uh, well, more awful if it's wet. Let me tell ya. Yeah, I was very, very close getting stuck on the wall. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it was truly a tragedy. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's all, it was all part of the plan. Everything's part of the plan. Everything I do is uh, intentional. For one reason or another. So yeah, um, according to this game, and it's realistic weather setting, air quotes, hey war dog, um, <laughs> I guess 2000, they predicted 2000 to be a very, very wet year for uh, Formula 1, because yeah, this is race 6 and we've only had one dry race so far, hooray.
I don't remember when Yas Marina was added. Sure as hell wasn't here because <laughs> anyways. Excuse me, Villeneuve. Hey, I actually made a clean pass, holy shit. The fuck, Anderson? Oh, oh, Barrichello's moving up. Be any other PS1 F1 games? I know there's... Also, I just kind of fucking raped Herbert there. Whoops. But, um... I don't know... I'm sure there's, like, a few more. I know there's F197, because GT Rufus played it. Other than that, I don't know. For PS1 F1 games... Excuse me, Irvine. And I think there's a PlayStation version of uh, Championship Season 2000 as well. Not sure though. I don't even know. Hey, we're in the points. Also, it's only been five laps. Ooh. Oh wow, this laps are going by quicker than I expected. Only a minute twelve. Then again, there is a whole section that doesn't exist yet, so you know. That's definitely uh cuts a lot of time. A lot of time. Plus, you know, Formula One cars is fast, yo. Know. 100% race at Phoenix. Epically fail. Whoops. GG. GG. Hello, Rolf. Keep not slowing down enough for that. Crabs, okay. There's 11 PS1 F1 games? Damn. That's a lot. Oh, hello. Hello. And Brother Ralph is around. I need to stop trying to overtake in that chicane because that's what happens. Oh, God. Oh, you're in. You're playing NASCAR 14. Whoops. Finish your second playthrough of what? I don't remember what you were playing. Villeneuve. It's a cool name. I think it's kind of obvious I'm catching Coltard here. Go around the me S. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, Ace Combat Zero. Woo! And once again, seventh gear is shit. Starting to see a trend here. Rain, seventh gear being useless. And lots of spaghetti. Mmm. Hey, I just. Okay, so I guess these 71 laps aren't going to take quite as long as I initially thought. Because apparently, um. These laps go by quicker than expected. Minute 12 4, yeah. There we go. Hello, Brian. Need to actually slow down. Slowing down would be a good idea. Fuck slowing down. You just picked up F1 2000 at Goodwill. Hey! That coin is it 2000 or championship season 2000?
A glitch in a Eutechnics NASCAR game? No way. Have one two thousand. Woo! You found it. Catching the car in front. Yeah, hey, there's Frenson. You're pulling away from the car behind. Well, so is championship season two thousand. I just. <laughs> But yeah, this is the Nurburgring. Wow, I'm actually surprised at how much uh, progress Barrichello is making. 21st to 13th, after whatever the fuck that first lap was for him. Oh, excuse me, Heinz Herald. And rip, Heinz Herald. <laughs> Fucking kaboom goes the engine. It's absolutely Alhu Akbar in itself. That's why I like to call him Ew Technics. The fuck burgering. Wait, that's right. Didn't you Technics make Test Drive Le Mans or Le Mans 24 Hour, depending on which version slash region? Or am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. I'm probably full of shit. Also, I caught Hawking in. What's up, Mika? Have a fucking 13 second advantage over Coltard. Was not expecting to uh, do that, but okay, that works. <laughs> oh, hey, this game. Oh, I wasn't meant to throw a grenade in this engine. I thought that was what I was supposed to do. Isn't this a GTA race? Fuck. <laughs> you should have told me earlier. Damn it. Meh. Anyways. Then that texture pop in, let me tell ya. It's the pop inist. You technics made an F1 game? Oh god, which one? Hey, 10.9. Nice. Going fast. Oh god, oh god. Okay, we're good. We're good? Everything's fine. Everything is A-okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to... Oh, neutral. I have to say, this game graphically looks pretty damn good. For a PS1 game. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of brands have given you Technics license for their game. My favorite one still is uh, Ferrari. Because, you know, they made... You Technics made Ferrari Challenge Trofeo Pirelli, which was actually a good game. It was kind of... Oh! Okay. Well, that was interesting. It looks dry. Sure as hell isn't. Look at the spray. 
the kind of square spray because uh, PS3 emulation, yo. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. The curb made my car sad. Well then. We're good. Everything's fine. I love all the D2 signs. It's like it's a fucking Formula One game. They're fucking advertising goddamn German touring cars. Like, there's no tomorrow. Now, I'm sure those were on the, like, actual advertising billboards, but, you know. Yeah, Eutechnics is most well-known for Ride to Heck. But, stuff. I mean, F1 World Grand Prix 2099, huh. I wonder if those games are any good. Yeah, I, I figured as much, I guess. Is take all the sponsors from, uh, real life at that time. Also gonna have to make my first pit stop soon. Since I'm doing the fucking short or er, early three stop strategy. Actually, they had the NASCAR sponsor before they made Ride to Shit Ass. Because their first NASCAR game was in 2011, and Ride the Fuck was released in, like, what, 2013, 2014, something like that? So, um, yeah. This track is cool. Back of this case says this game has indie. It does! Because this is based off the 2000 season. I guess the 2000 season was the inaugural uh, Indianapolis F1 race. Something like that. Also, time to pit for the first time. Not anymore. It's pit time. How do, how you know tires are bad? Uh, they'll start glowing on the meter below the tack. They'll start glowing yellow for when uh, the tires are wearing out. Ride to Hell is 2013, okay, yeah. So they had two NASCAR games under their belt before they released that shit fest. They also made Big Mother Truckas, oh my god. I remember that game, never played it. Never, like, seen a whole lot of gameplay of it, but I remember that game. Well, yeah, of course it's the road course version, because that's where fucking F1 raced around at Indy. They dare not go on the oval. NASCAR 11, 2011 shouldn't have been a fucking massive buggy mess, but it's a Eutechnics game, so you know. Fisichella. Okay. That's three cars out now. I think three. Ooh, Barrichello's in the top ten. He's almost made it up into the points. NASCAR 11 is about as buggy as P cars. <laughs> All video games shouldn't be massive buggy messes, but <laughs> there you are. Especially uh, new modern games. Oh God, 
The amount of games that have been shit out with tens of just trillions of bugs is fucking ridiculous. Honestly, I have very low expectations for NASCAR 16. I think the studio that's working on it are like XU Technics guys or something. I don't know. Please correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am, but I think they're, or at least they're affiliated with Utechnics in some way. The awful, oh, the awful NASCAR game I played one day, it was NASCAR 99. The like, the physics of that game are just, uh, Circle is reverse. God damn it. Seriously? Circle is reverse. And it's, fuck me. I had a feeling, because I think of all the buttons I press, and I press damn near every button, I think I didn't press circle. So that would make some sense. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, K-Boys. Like, they're they're uh, trying to, like, advertise them as, like, a new upstart company and stuff and blah, based in Charlotte or something. But it's probably... Nah, Junior, the, the physics... Uh, like, I'm sure NASCAR 99 it can be a fun game, but the physics are way fucked. Way fucked. You just did a race. I'm sorry, GVC, for being stupid. Me, stupid. Wow. Hey, NASCAR 2000 was pretty good. I actually enjoyed that when I played through it. Oh, oh it was infinitely better. I thought he was going the other way. We said NASCAR 2000 on the other hand. But yeah, I think it's just U Technics mute moves some. Probably one of their divisions to Charlotte under a new name. Hey, we're making NASCAR 16. Hey, Dental Monkey. Well, uh, if you were subscribed to my YouTube channel, you'd know that I do have new Let's Play videos. Because, yeah, bro. But yes, I have. I release a new fucking LP video every day, so, you know. You know, you know. You should get an F1 game. I hear F1 2013 is probably the best F1 game there is, but you know. How much am I enjoying this game? I'm having a good time with it. I'm having a good time, yeah. I mean, obviously, I haven't been endlessly bitching about this game, so I'm obviously, uh, you know, enjoying myself. Oh, shit. Incorrect, Anderson. Because there's been NASCAR... There's NASCARs in GT5 and 6. And in, uh, a couple recent, like... And in, like, Forza 4? Something like that? While well, Utechnics has a license, so... It's not an exclusive license, plus EA, uh... Recently got NASCAR for uh, Real Racing 3, so. You know, I would not be surprised at all if GT7 had NASCARs. Or even GT Sport for that matter. Although it's FIA sanctioned games, so I doubt they'd have NASCARs in that one. First an F1 game with the Lon Prost. Uh, I don't know how long he uh, drove for, or when he drove for. It'll probably be buggy, Sonic, you know. We're not going to have our next-gen sim game out until 2016, and it's not going to be February of 2016. Is that a statement about NASCAR 16? We, oh fuck. 
GT Sport is Gran Turismo. It's going to be like an iRacing style spinoff. Oh, thanks, Dental Monkey. Glad you enjoyed Forza. Dude, I, I feel the same way, okay, boys. Fucking have. Dirt to Daytona Physics, fucking. And Thunder 2003 slash 2004. Just, like, career mode and shit, and that'd be an amazing NASCAR game right there. And then be, like, uh, 2005 through. Uh, 09 on the PS2, at least. Uh, with having multiple series. That would also be dank. Imagine Snack Car 16 is actually good. Whoa! My favorite car of GT6, I don't have one. But I honestly can't pick, like, can't pick, well, can't pick a favorite car out of all 1200 of those to drive. I mean, my automatic answer would probably be a Viper, but I don't think I've really driven a Viper in GT6, so. No, GT Sport is not B spec. It's. Fucking just, uh. It's like. Like I said, it's apparently gonna be some kind of like eye racing type game. As in, like, you know, sanctioned online series and shit that are, you know, hosted and run by the FIA. Yeah, it's not fucking B spec. Except GT Sport isn't going to be dumb like I racing, I hope. And I'm not saying it's like, oh, it's gonna be iRacing, I'm saying they're having some kind of... It's gonna be centered around a special racing league, similar to what iRacing does. Apparently I'm uh, fucking detouring people from uh, wanting GT Sport by explaining it in the way I only try to do simplified explanations. Dude, if there's an, like a game that's sent around all the American motorsports, I would pick that shit up. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow, I'm only six seconds up on Hackman. Damn, he's been keeping up pretty well. Weibo, weibo, weibo. Hello, backmarkers. Hello, mini back markers. Okay, we got around the arrows. There's Jensen Button. And then both minorities in, fr in front of Button. <laughs> Mom, I'm Japanese now. Where you boo? Got a Dodge Ram on GT6, cool. I'm not a big truck person, so it's just like, eh, whatever. But, you know. Togurri Survivor 3 is awesome. I need to get better at that game so I can LP it. Because, uh, the off-road races and, um, the Tier 32 in that game are fucking ridiculously hard. Just, uh... Uh, A86 is Weeaboo. It's a Weeaboo car because Formula Drift, yo. Yeah, 
Okay, what we got here? We got both Saubers, alright. Teammates riding together. Speaking of teammates, I wonder where Barrichello is. I've been looking at the bottom, or paying attention to it, so, uh... You know, whenever, like, the standings scroll by on screen. Oh, shit! Well, um... Oops. I didn't mean, didn't mean to do that, I swear. Uh, oh, Barrick Hill is down to 10th, okay. He was as high as 9th, after starting, what, 3rd, 4th, something like that? What about Formula D? It's a fucking anime, and it starred the uh, A86, which makes it the Weeaboo car. Or whatever the fuck that anime is called. Initial D, Initial D, that's it. I don't know why I was thinking Formula D, fuck me. Probably because I'm stupid and also, you know, Formula One game, Formula, I had Formula on the brain. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for being so stupid, but initial D is what I was talking about. Bed an A86 and be a Viper in around the turn. I mean, eh, I think overall the Viper has better handling. Or probably has better handling. Also, I just spun the car. Yay! Excuse me. Yeah, I was thinking of like the actual sport Formula D, not fucking the anime initial D. So my lead on Hawkenden should be uh very low now. Don't pit. Uh oh, Barrichello's in. Can't pit. Fuck. We. Oh, hey, you unlock the Goodwood Festival of Speed, monkey. That's actually a fun little time trial thing. It's pretty cool. Oh, when suddenly my lead has increased? I mean, you've only locked the first stage of uh, the Goodwood Festival, so might as well take it out, get take care of it now. That's what I did when I played through GT6. Was I took care of each stage of Goodwood as I unlocked them? Oh, hello, Abyss. Slash Magneto, apparently. Goodwood's pretty cool. That's, I wish there were more stages in it. Because there's only five stages in Goodwood, but yeah. You're pulling away from the car behind. Excuse me, Mr. Prost. Driver. Shit. Aw, didn't set a new fast lap as I went off on the last turn. Boo! Get Mr. Swagman here. Trying to get his lap back like he thinks he can. <laughs> okay, I have at least like a 16 second lead on Hakkinen. Woo. GT6 just not giving you prize cars ever. It's really annoying. Goodwood track racing. Um, I don't think you understand what that track is used for or how short it is.
Yeah, I didn't like the uh, lack of prize cars either, Sonic. Just like, oh, alright, sure. Epiphany, why you do this? We'll try to get gold. I don't know, K-Boys. I don't know if that S was called Schumacher S yet, at the time of this game. Well, I meant the Goodwood Trial Track, Junior. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, my underground LP. Yay! Late childhood. Careful. There we go. I didn't actually know there was an actual circuit at Goodwood, so pardon my uh, ignorance. Yeah. Boy, I'm being excessively stupid tonight. I ain't ready for snow. It's fucking November, I ain't ready for snow. The Fiat 124, this is the first I've heard of it, so I have no opinion on it. Uh, I think I mentioned something, like, very vaguely mentioned that you can actually, uh, like, you know, blow the engine in drag races in underground if you, uh, rev the car too high for too long. I'm sure I mentioned something about crashing, I don't remember. I don't know. Just wait till later in the LP. Spoiler alert. basically an Italian Miata. That sounds interesting. Fiat, what are you doing? Why are you making Miatas? Yeah, those are some pretty damn good cars for the first stage. Hell, pretty much all Goodwood had some pretty good cars for the, yeah, every stage. Hello, I, uh, Marquez. Took me a while to like read every single letter of your name to understand how to pronounce it. Just wait till you unlock the fifth stage, monkey. Just you wait. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sure, um, it'll be fucking, the, the totaling is taught at some other point in the LP. Actually, I do remember you, Marquez. <laughs> you remember me? Sandwich. Looks like I'm close to, uh the window of my next pit stop. Oh god, okay, we're good. Yeah, what about the rough 3400S? Handles really well. Wait. 
What is the 3400S? Is that a Boxster? Come on, construction drags. Dude, any drag with traffic, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, the game, the game, uh, gives you those cars to use in the Goodwood Trial, monkey. You don't actually have to buy them. The game, I guess, loans you the car. It's like a... Think of it as like an extra license test, if you will. When was this game made? 2000. It actually, it's probably made throughout 1999 because it was released in early 2000. Because, yeah. Eric Hill still trying to move, recover from uh, whatever the fuck happened to him on lap one. I meant the Porsche boxed her, not does it have a boxer engine. Oh wow, buttons up the 13th. When suddenly. Button's doing a little less shitty than usual. Oof! Okay. I'm not even sure what just happened, because I wasn't paying attention. Looks like it's from the 1980s. Hey man, this looks pretty damn good for a 2000 game. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I accidentally changed the strategy there. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Lap 35. I never had that problem, Abyss. I already finished the game, by the way. Spoiler alert. Ugh, gotta take the extra time to replace my front wing after what the fuck ever happened in front of me. Okay, off we go to lap 42 or something like that. 40-something. I don't even know. And I'm still ahead of Hawkenden. Had that big of a lead. Hooray. Midnight Club's on my list, yes. My rules are funny. Yeah, man. God, I just spent a minute in pit lane, Jesus Christ. I didn't know you like Shadow Monkey? What, what? What you talking about, boy? Excuse me, Mr. Jaguar Man. I like how that front wing, like, uh, repair would have, is, uh, uber slow by today's standards. Like, nowadays it takes them, like, what, five, maybe ten seconds if they're slow to change a front wing. I mean, it takes them three seconds to change four tires, so, you know. No, the whole series. The whole Midnight Club series. Hear that, or he, uh. Actually. Wait, no, never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say, maybe he adjusted the gearing there. Remember, it's Underground 1 we're talking about here. I don't think there was any, uh, tuning in Underground 1.
Wait, you saw an SLR Sterling Moss? Really? Holy shit. It's fucking awesome, Junior. Yeah, three seconds for four tires. Like, just just look up fucking 2015 at Formula One pit stops. They're they blow your fucking mind. They're so lightning quick. Hell yeah, I want Jeff Gordon to win the championship. I sincerely hope he wins this Sunday. I really do. And then this is not going to be relevant at all when this actual video comes out, because, you know, <laughs> I have two LPs in front of this. Meanwhile, all I see are uh, either junkers, uh, slightly riced fucking abominations. Like, not even abominations that they're su super fucking riced. It's that they try to rise them, but they also look broken the fuck down. And it's kind of hilarious and sad at the same time. And... Um... Trucks, lots and lots of trucks, and then the occasional truck, uh, w fucking flying the rebel flag because apparently, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Silver the Hedgehog either. He's cool, not really needed. So, pleck. Here's the other BAR. The only cool car I could see is the fucking just Corvettes. Usually C3 through C6. Actually, C3 through C5, actually. Make a truck with the Deirdre Daytona truck livery, clearly. Nice meme, War Dog. Which Corvette is best Corvette? I don't know because they don't fucking drive through here. Ah. Hey, there's Coltard. Can put him a lap down already. Excuse me, Mr. Arrows, man. Oh, wow, I've been driving the fuck away from Hakkinen. But why Why were you asking me asking about Wario and Waluigi when we were talking about Sonic characters, yo? What? Where's the logic? Okay, that's halfway point. But we're not halfway yet, K-Boys. K 
cap bronze. Well, try harder. Wario and Waluigi are fun to laugh at because Wario is a big fat dumbass and Waluigi is just there in in the spin-offs. He's just there. Well not really spin-offs, just in the party games. I have reports salt on a snail, no. Shit, fuck ass, okay. Well, I mean, Waluigi was made to be the opposite of Luigi, and so uh, Wario has a partner in the party games. Fuck. Man, Waluigi. Oh, now we're halfway through the race. <laughs> well, Luigi's a silly name, but think about it. They could have called him Wooigi. Yes, I have had a girlfriend. Don't have one now, because uh, the one I was dating left me for someone else, and well, t now literally zero people have any interest in me. Oh, fuck. But yeah, bro. Shit. I was expecting nothing less, to be honest. Round and round I go. The Sauber stops and nobody knows why. Why are you nervous, monkey? Cut, cut the chicane a little bit, whoops. God damn it. Watching Kane and West cause bored. About to drive the KTM crossbow. Oh. Eh, you you'll get used to it. Crossbow is not that difficult to drive. I fuck it up because I suck, that's how. Oh god, that turn is very blind from this perspective. Nope, mm mm. Okay, two laps in a row. Why did I shift into seventh? What's ib? Oh, and there goes one of the minorities. Rupid Papringo. This is F1 2000. I was. I do suck at that turn. I'm trying to get used to the fucking track from this perspective because it's a lot different than playing third person. Not gonna lie. Car 
well. That was unfortunate. Also, I just realized the, like, grass buildup and shit... Uh, isn't as potent. Like, the graphics for it aren't as potent on in first-person camera. Like, the tires get darker, but they don't get greener shit. Hooray! Crossbow's a fun car to drive. It's silver. Gotta go for gold, man. <laughs> At least it was a different tr uh, turn this time. Kind of. I don't fucking know. I'll learn eventually, goddammit. But for now... Gonna be mowing the lawn. The wet-ass lawn. It's okay. I, I'm used to driving around Nürburgring in the wet. I mean, I'll, you know, I only did it for 11 hours... Actually, 12 hours in GT5. Whoops. Man, everything is so blind. It's like everything on the track is ten times taller. It's just, uh. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining and it's wet and grip is limited. Yeah. Oh, it was uh, 24 hours at the Nurburgring. But when I played it for the LP, uh, the entire second half of the race, well not entire second half, it started at like 12 hours and 30 minutes. It started raining, and it didn't stop raining. Ever. <laughs> so I went 11 and a half hours in the rain in that race. Actually, it might have been like a 12, 15, 12 hours 15. Now that I think about it. I don't remember, I have to look it up. Shit. I don't play iRacing because I'm not paying a fucking subscription service for a game that I may or may not get banned from for having any just any criticisms for. Oh no, how dare. Like, that's a really bullshit clause in their terms, you know. You're just not allowed to say anything negative about the game or else they can and will ban you. At their own discretion. So hey, guess what all that money you spent on the fucking online license and also on the actual content of the game, because not only do you have to pay the race online, you also actually have to pay to use the fucking content. It's like, hey, here's here's a fucking online pass subscription plus microtransactions. Why do people like iRacing? I mean, I know the netcode's amazing, and no one has even got close to it goodness, but fuck, man iRacing does so many things wrong just with its just of ability to play the game or availability of the game that it's just like fuck. Also high test drive. Don't mind me just shitting on iRacing. Microtransactions, awful, awful things that shouldn't exist in gaming. It's, it's basically a, a company's way of nickel and diming you for content that shouldn't be nickeled and dimed. It's like, oh, you want to play this? You want to drive this car in this game? Okay, give me two dollars. Oh, you want to drive this car now? Okay, give me five more dollars. Oh, you want to go around this track? That's ten dollars. Tomato, 
helpful for young drivers. They sure as hell. Unfortunately, uh, apparently up till like recently, uh, is definitely nowhere near the simulation it claimed to be at all. Yeah, poop merchants. I didn't actually know poop merchant was like an actual term until uh, fucking I watched Toast and Tim's fucking let's watch, let's watch of a Sammy video where he called everyone poop merchants for whatever reason. Cosmetic and microtransactions, although dumb, well, they're kind of just as dumb. They really are. No, it isn't, I just. The, this, this game is an EA published game, and the modern F1 games are Codemasters. Developed and published, so, yeah, no, these aren't the same. Oh no, low fuel. Yeah, Nerber G bite G pi hi papa papa pa pa. I don't know. I I personally hate microtransactions as a whole and think that they should not exist in any form of media whatsoever. Remember when Junior used or Dale Jr. used to use like uh, racing simulators and shit for practice, and uh, that was the cause of his massive slump. Hey, Lamau. Is it better modern F1 games? Nah, this game's pretty good, but I would say, with my limited knowledge, mind you. That F1 2013 is probably the best F1 game there is. Mind you, I have limited knowledge of the F1 game series, so yeah. Also, Final Pit Stop hype. Woo! It's because Wild Run is good, whereas NFS 2015 was not. Getting lots of fuel. Getting lots of fuel to go another. How many laps are left? <laughs> 28. Wild Run is the new expansion for the crew. Well, Dulk or whatever. Is there, like, really anything to do in Wild Run Test Drive other than the, like, online fucking trials and shit? Or is that just it? That is, the, is that the Wild Run stuff? The How many total what? Why are racing did Apple make it? Probably because, you know, it's really fucking overpriced and overhyped. Ooh! See what I did there? Haven't found any yet. Whoa! Crew's pretty good. I heard the overhaul, like, not even just Wild Run, but I heard the, like, massive overhaul made the game a whole lot better. Like, graphics and physics overhaul video of me playing this game while drunk, but I don't drink. I mean, it, it's all, it's, it depends, I just, on what I'm doing. Like, a lot of the times now, if I'm, like, casually playing a game, I'll use the fucking third-person view, but if I had a choice, I like using the first person, or if I'm, like, being a real try-hard, I'll use the hood cam. So, yeah. Oh, what is this thing happening here? I like the Toyota Celica. It's a cool car. Hey, Barrichello's almost in the points. Ooh. 
Oh jeez, have it hey FHK. I racing fans are awful. It's absolutely fucking awful. Oh no, you said bad thing about game. You are a troll and a uh, you are associator. Tumblr's all right if you follow the right blogs. All two of them. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Honestly, if anyone from iRacing saw this video when it went up, when it goes up, I'm pretty sure I'd be banned from iRacing. Not gonna lie. Like, if, you know, if they knew me, I'd try to make an iRacing account, I'd be banned. Oh, well, rip brother off. Oh, how many laps are on this course? 71. As it says on the top of the screen. Yeah, banned from a game I'd probably never play, exactly. Is it possible for black people to get sunburnt? Probably. I had a black friend who used to tan. Probably still does, I don't talk to him anymore. And you can tell the difference between a normal black man and a tan black man. Just saying. So anyone laps nothing. No, this is round six, I guess. This is the Nurburgring. Damn it, cave boys. Yeah, the European GP. I still love that one article on the pretend race cars about uh, the fucking German guy who writes for the site um, being banned from iRacing because, like, before he even made an account, because he borrowed his uh, the, one of the other PRC guys' account for like ten minutes, didn't race online, just just did some on offline things, banned. His IP is banned. From ever playing i racing. It's quite crazy. So I'm getting better at the track with this uh, camera. Yeah, I'm learning. I racing is very retarded. Who created this? The people that is actually a. Uh, I racing used to be Papyrus. You know the guys that made the NASCAR racing series. Who, the German guy, K-Boys? No. It's just that, um, he was accessing an account by, uh... Who the fuck is the guy? I, f I forget who it was, but it it's one of the other PRC guys who... Um... Who has talked shit about iRacing multiple times, and he's banned. And since they saw that, uh, German guy... Used his account... And that they and they know the German guy's name, they ban him. I don't know. There's an article about it, and it's really fucking retarded. Like the moderation that goes on in iRacing, racing, it's just uh. Yeah, 
rip her in. Oh, neutral. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's off the guy's thumbs. Thumbs, man. He's gotta push buttons. Gotta push buttons with his thumb. Like that. He's got fucking lightning thumbs. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the people that uh, make and run iRacing were uh, made the NASCAR Racing Series. Wee. Oh yeah, I think Papyrus did try to sue like people for modding NASCAR Racing 2003. Guess who? F guess uh, what happened? It, yeah, they failed. They, they tried to sue fucking modders and failed. No, they're not teenagers, War Dog. They just act like them. The fucking moderation staff. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, European Grand Prix, where we shit all over eye racing. Halo Mal. Also, is this Coltard or Hockenet? I'm guessing Coltard. Not wanting to go yet. Oh, hey, that is Hawkinen. Hello, lag. Okay, now it's wanting to go. Oh, yeah, NASCAR 2003 is like probably the one of the most modded games. But easily the most modded racing game. Hell, people still mod games like fucking NASCAR Heat. A game from 2000, and I just fucked that up immensely. GTR2 is another game that has a shit ton of mods and a set of Corsa. Like, GTR2 and a set of Corsa are like the two biggest modding platforms when it comes to racing sims. Oh, yeah, I've seen a couple of the idiots in NASCAR videos. I didn't really find them that entertaining, but they're interesting. Calm your vagina, war dog. Hello, Mika. What games do I play? Mostly racing games. Not exclusively. Mostly racing games, though. But I'm pretty open to what kind of games I play, except I don't play any strategy games because I eh, don't have the brain power to do so. And I don't play MOBAs because I don't fucking like MOBAs whatsoever. And I don't play world building games because they bore me to death. And I just have, and I have no creativity. Oh jeez, excuse me Mika. Maybe I'm just being an asshole. Or was being an asshole and watched Idiots and Asper, maybe? I, I don't know. Scenic and racing games, bro. Do 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 do. Gotta go fast! Here in my car, I'm 
motherfucker right in the pussy. MOBA is a dumb word. And it describes so much more than the uh, games of that genre. Because MOBA stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. You know how many games have multiplayer online battle arenas that aren't MOBAs? Well, thank you. Hopefully you stay around and watch my videos and my streams and ah! And not be like, you know, just one of those f fake subscribers who subscribes just for the sake of subscribing don't actually watch my shit. Hate those people. Oh, jeez. Hello. How you how you doing, Mr. Salver? Oh, what happened? Oh! <laughs> Lost his rear wing. That That's what happened. I better not pass him. You see, the sad part about Need for Speed 2015 is it's practically finished. It's just really, really bad. <clears throat> like, bad. There's so many fucking just poor design choices. It's not even that buggy. It's just there's a lot of poor design choices. Like the auto steering. And the... F yeah, it just... There's just... Fuck. Oh, shit. Don't be at every stream. I will hold you to that. And if you don't show up to every stream, you owe me... 10 bagels. Yeah, the new Need for Speed is bad. Just watch Fail Race's uh, videos. Like, fucking Fail Race explained NFS 2015, or reviewed NFS 2015 perfectly. His fucking, uh, yeah, auto steering. Like, the pr game pretty much steers the car the way, makes the car go the way they they want it to go, not the way you're making it go. But uh, Fail Race did the fucking the honest look at Need for Speed 2015, which is a 40 goddamn minute video. And uh, he also did a uh, video comparing Underground 2 to the new game. Guess what? Underground 2 is infinitely better. Hooray. Yes, you owe me lots of bagels, War Dog. A Lamel. When's my next stream? Tomorrow. Um, if you look down at the description a little bit, just past the rules, I have a uh, schedule that shows when I stream and what time. Cause yeah. I should probably try watching more Fail Race videos, cause he seems pretty cool. And he's British, and I like British accents. I think he's British. Shut up, Skyfall, you don't know. Yeah, fucking no man of transmission. Like, I've stumbled upon his channel a few times and saw that, you know, he makes videos that are actually worth watching. Unlike other people. <laughs> Fat train. Black Panther. Anyways. My favorite Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 1. That's also the last one I played, because I lost interest in the series after that. And haven't regained interest interest since then. So, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm on fire. So I'm a lap ahead of Hakkinen, by the way. That's just kind of a thing that happened. So, uh... Yeah. Wreck someone? No. Uh, I'm playing this on the PS3 right now, but this is a PS1 game. Ok, 
came after Undercover's What Killed the Series. Shift didn't even kill the series. Burnout Paradise 2 was a fun-ass game. How did that go, Test Driv? Is that why I have 25 new tweets? Since I started fucking this race. Yeah, Shift was actually pretty good. And then, uh... Hot Pursuit 3 was actually a lot of fun. GTRs are hard to control in shark terms. Probably. I don't even remember them and driving them in GT6. So, mm. There's, unless it's sold, there's a used 360 at disc replay that's like the slim model, and I think it's a f either 50 or 250 gig. I don't remember. It's like 120 bucks or something like that. Uh. Let's see, after Hot Pursuit was Nitro, which was an interesting little game. I don't have any of the next-gen consoles yet. The first one I plan to get is a Wii U. But I plan to get all three eventually, because I really want to play Forza 6. I really enjoyed Rivals. I, I had a lot of fun with that, and I like the seamless open world, and the fact that you can actually play offline, and stay in the seamless open world. Like, Rival, I greatly enjoyed Rivals. This is PS1. PS1 on PS3, because backwards compatibility. Let's just take it easy through the chicane so I don't hit anybody. Oh, jeez, don't hit Button. Button's having a good race. Yeah, Forza 6 looks like an F excellent game. My favorite GTA? Uh, probably 5. I've only played 4 and 5. And at on those, 98% of my time spent playing those games have been online, so yeah. Rivals only had 6 months of development? Really? They managed to shit out a game that fucking, like, good in that short of time? Because, like, one of the things I like the most about Rivals, to be honest, is the open world. The fact that when you enter an event, you stay within that open world. I don't know why, I just really, really like that. Yeah, retro game. Because I play, oh, I play old games like a dumbass. <laughs> Gotta be best, better than the Nissan monkey. Yeah, I gotta do it. Yeah, I gotta drive fast. Gotta go fast. Old games are great. Minute 20, aka a lap and change. I have the first horizon, yes. I don't know, it, I, I guess it was like an immersion thing for me, the open wheel. This is F1 2000, but I don't know, when I was playing Rivals, I just really, really enjoyed that. I would drive to an event or fast travel to want to it. I would start it and stay within the world that I was previously in. And then as soon as the race finished, the race was over, but it seamlessly transitioned without any loading or anything to just free roaming in that world, or in police chase if I was being chased by the police. The, like, one of the major complaints that I have about Rivals is the, uh, shitty car list. Well, not shitty, but... small car list. 
The fact that I can only drive a Viper in police mode unless I buy Dulk, but, you know. <laughs> old games to me, at least like two generations old. Oh yeah, this game's only 15 years old, so I think that makes it old. <laughs> eh, I might get the PC version if they make it, uh, better. If they add shit like manual transmission and, uh, get rid of the stupid auto-steering bullshit. PS2 is probably one of the best consoles ever made, I'm not gonna lie. If only uh, PS2 games auto upscaled to 480p with component cables like Xbox games. <laughs> you can do it, monkey. I believe in you. The Xbox was awesome. The fuck are you talking about, War Dog? I've never actually played F-197. I've watched GT Rufus play through it, but I've never played it myself. My favorite Forza is Forza 2. I just have a lot of really, really good memories with that game. Being in the uh, competitive hot lapping scene and somewhat racing scene back then. It's where I met like a really good friend, of, uh, some good friends, and then one really good friend who's still a friend of mine. A really good friend of mine, so yeah. The GT Sport trailer, I'm pretty uh, excited for GT Sport. Be cool to see a uh, Polyphony's take on a uh, iRacing style ish uh, league format. No best games for Xbox, dude. Halo. Project Gotham Racing, come on, War Dog. Honestly, from a technical technical standpoint, the Xbox was a better console than PS2, but the PS2 had far better exclusives and many more exclusives. Just saying, like you know, Final Fantasy X and GT four and three and all the uh, all the 3D platformers, you know, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, uh, shit, what else? What was the other one? Sly Cooper series, you know. Plus many more. ATV Off-Road Fury series. Tokyo Extreme Racers and Excellence. Good. It takes a while to get used to the physics because they're very, very floaty, but overall I like the TXR series. Oh shit. Forza 6 or Horizon? Eh. I, I like the motorsport games more than Horizon, but I like the Horizon series. So I'd, I'd pick Forza 6. Oh jeez. Yeah, Seto Course is coming out for consoles next year. Hopefully, um... Kunos doesn't fuck it up, although, from what I've been reading about, like, the game and recent updates, they've kind of been fucking it up. So, uh-oh. Meanwhile, uh, seven laps to go here at the Nurburgring. Just been kind of mindlessly driving here. Not really thinking about the race. My PS2 isn't broken, and I've had mine since 2001. You know, when they had the GT3 bundle? It was 2001, wasn't it? Junior, your PS2 doesn't count. It's been on live support 
like all year. Dolby Digital. Digital insanity. Dang. Okay. Oh. Pfft. Okay. There, I, I was paying zero attention to the game. Mindlessly driving uh, is not the same as not paying attention. Just saying. I know I got my PS2 from the GT3 bundle. I'm like, whoa, a PlayStation 2. Gran Turismo 3? My brothers have Gran Turismo 2, and I really like that game. Fuck yeah. And then I played that, I fell in love with it, then GT4 came out, and I fucking became a man. Okay, I think this is Coltard here. I hope this is Coltard, or else I'd be going two laps ahead. Two laps uh, ahead right now. Yeah, this is Coltard. It definitely taken more than a minute forty to get to this point. Oh, hello, David. Also, hello, Thunder. Hey, I missed this hairpin twice in a row now. I'm God. You beat a monkey, yay! Told you you could do it. GT4 is easily, my, hands down, my favorite Gran Turismo. GT2 is a fairly close second, but yeah. Yeah, that's another thing about the new Need for Speed, always online, which means um, whenever EA decides to pull the plug on the game, uh, modders are going to have to make fucking offline patches like they did with uh, Need for Speed World. Uh-oh. Did Coltard die? No, he didn't. Okay. There's just a yellow flag there. Whatever. I guess someone behind me died. <laughs> you got it, Abyss. That's why I'm running a GT4. Oh, it was words. Okay. Nope, not missing the turn this time. I almost did. I was very close to missing it. Okay, five laps to go. That's the Nürburgring. Bitch, I've been pulling away since I got the lead. Uh-oh, another yellow, who died this time. And before Coltard. So McLaren, once again, uh, can't take advantage of Barrichello having a shitty race. It's been a it's David yep, it was Coltard. God damn it. What the fuck? Also, I just punched my mic. Whoops. Whoopsie. Bah. Oh wow, suddenly 109.9. New lap record!
Hooray. So it's me, Hockenden, Villeneuve, Zonta in fourth, Barrichello. Oh, Barrichello's in fifth. Nice. Hooray, we're going to gain a lot of points on McLaren as long as Barrichello stays in points. Bronze magnet. <laughs> You're only getting bronze medals, are you? Uh oh. Three laps to go. We're on <laughs> lap 69. <69. laughs> oh, jeez. Excuse me, Mr. Arrows driver, man. And before I actually do win by two laps, although that mean I'd have to gain 20 seconds on him, roughly, these last two laps, two and a half laps. I don't think I'm that fast. Uh -huh. Okay, we're good. Well then, Thunder. There's one of the Jaguars. I think both Jags are still running, which has uh, not happened in a while. Hooray. Two to go. I get it. Fucking bronze magnetic field. Yes, I do have all aids off. All aids off, full race length, tire wear, fuel consumption, damage on, mechanical failures on. Jaguar is a cool team. I just really like the liveries of their cars. Because Jaguar logo translates into really good liveries. There are eight guys out of the race? Seriously? Jesus Christ. Oh, and I'm on expert difficulty, of course. Highest difficulty. Because that's how I roll. Even though I'm still uh, almost winning by two laps. <laughs> Despite being on the highest difficulty. <laughs> on the default setup at that. I think if you fine tune this card, get like the fucking, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, my list is uh, quite large, isn't it, Victor? Oh, jeez. I hope I don't have a DNF. I'd like to win every Grand Prix just to show off all the trophies. Oh shit. One lap to go. Dude, I'll die of old age before I finish all those games. Also, uh, Rip set tra trying to set a new fast lap on the last lap. And some of them I won't be, probably won't be able to tackle because I'm not good enough at them. 200% I'm on... Blah, 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 blah.
All right, there we go. Off the final turn. The winning streak continues, and the domination streak. Well, wow, that was 202 miles. So, another magnificent race comes to an end. Another impeccable drive from the master himself. Michael Schumacher will be delighted with that result. Thank you for watching today's race. We hope to see you at the next round. So, yeah. Hakkinen was the only car to finish one lap behind. And then the rest of the points finishers were two laps behind, and everyone else was three or more. Also, Mazda Kane finished eighth. Epic top ten. I didn't see where Janae finished, though. And here's all the retirements. Oh, Janae uh, retired. Okay. Whoops. Goddamn. That's, that's eight cars. I think that's the most retirements we've had in a race so far. Nice. So now my point lead is up to 36 on Hakkinen. Hooray. <laughs> Coulthard fart falls to fourth because no points this race because blew up at the end. <laughs> Janae. Barrichello scored a whole two points and he's tied with Zonta now. Hey, 11 drivers have scored points so far. Let's see, how many constructors have scored points? Got 24 point advantage over McLaren, thanks to Coulthard retiring at the end. And, let's see. Seven teams so far with points. Hurry. Oh, hey, we actually have highlights for this race. Here's one of Mika Hakkinen about to be either passed for the lead or lapped by me. I'm guessing lapped. Okay, uh, this is F1 2000, and the graphics are terrible because they were actually really good for the year 2000, which is when this game was released. Oh, and here's the uh, Benetton. Vars, I think, blowing up? Yeah. Whoops. Great highlights, yo. Hooray. My favorite band, uh, I consider my favorite band Chevelle, but I like way too many bands so much, I don't fucking know. So, there we go. There's the, uh, European Grand Prix. The streak continues. The streak lives on. And there's my trophy for the European Grand Prix. Now, our next race is going to be quite the uh, the holocaust especially if it's um if it's going to be a wet race cuz we're going to be we're be going to the streets of monaco next time so uh, that will be interesting stay tuned for that you won't want to miss it